Hey guys, so I asked ChatGPT to help me build a subtractive synthesizer in VCV Rack inspired by Minimoog, and the answers I got were really, really mind blowing. So I wanted to share this with you. First of all, I got a very specific set of instructions how to build that thing. Almost everything checks out. Very, very impressive. You know, if you walk you know, point by point, it actually makes sense. You can, you can build a voice already from, from this first response. Uh, one thing that caught my eye was the fact that it suggested only one VCO. Um, and, you know, Minimoog is three oscillator design. So I pressed it on, on, on that, say, hey, close, but the original Minimoog was not a one oscillator synth. And this is mind blowing. You're correct. My apologies. The Minimoog is a three oscillator synth. And here's how to build it. So now it adds two more VCOs to the design. And this is what really impressed me. Not only it adds VCOs, but it knows you, you got to add a mixer. Um, anyhow, you can follow this, this thing and everything checks out. Uh, I pressed it um, harder on point seven because it, it wants to connect this module, MIDI to CV, to VC, VCO, LFO, and envelope, which is not wrong, but I want to be more specific, like which outputs, you know, what, what do you mean by that? So I ask it, can you specify, you know, exactly which outputs? So now we're going to details, right? So we have a design and now it can help me specify exactly, you know, how this design should work. And, and, and these two first two points are correct. Um, volt per octave, right? And then gate. So, so this is what we expect. The third one was kind of off because the third output, I'm assuming it's velocity. And I normally don't see velocity going to LFO. So again, I, I said, I'm confused. Can you, can you explain more? We are going more into details. This is another thing that, that is very, um, very impressive because once I ask this follow-up question, it kind of, GPT kind of figure out, okay, I think I made a mistake. Maybe it should not be control. Uh, it, it should not go to LFO. Maybe it should go to VS, VCA, which this is actually better direction, right? This is, we usually see velocity having some kind of influence, influence on VCA, although there are usually some modules in between, either utility scalers or uh, whatever, um, ADSR. So I asked GPT about that, right? It's like, how would you really connect it? Would you put any modules in between? Um, I got some kind of general answer. It was not great. Uh, I also noticed that it kind of doesn't know exactly that we're talking about this VCA because it's, it could be CV uh, output, which is correct, or modulation, right? So I was also curious to, to know, like, are we talking about these specific vanilla modules or just in general? So I pressed it harder for, for details, right? Um, and kind of, it feels like it's a blurred answer from VCV rack 1.0 and 2.0 and some general knowledge about synthesizers and neural rack. Uh, but it's good enough. You know, I'm, uh, despite all of that, I was very, very impressed. And then I said, and I, I thought, okay, can you, let's build that thing. Can you give me a diagram? Right. So I asked for a diagram of, of everything we talked about. So it draws some kind of diagram, which actually makes sense. If you, if you really follow this up, it does make sense more or less. Uh, it explains every module, which is fantastic for beginners, right? So if, you, if you're learning VCV Rack, maybe GPT should be your friend for now. Uh, it really tells you how to connect each output to which input. The only thing that I wasn't sure enough was, I mean, this is generic, VCA going to the output module, which is correct, but the output module in VCV Rack is called audio. And why is it important? Because if you search for output, if you're a beginner, right? Um, if you're a beginner, and even if you narrow it down to uh, VCV, you get, you know, you will be confused. This is not what, what, what you want. So I pressed GPT on that. So can you tell me what is the name of the output device in VCV rack exactly? So I can search it in the browser and check this out. Right, it's it's pretty impressive. Like, I, I I want more details, and it actually helps me get there. Um, maybe the I/O section. I'm not sure if it's sections. We we use tags in in VCV rack, but it's it mostly it's it's correct. Uh, and then I press further. So notice that 
over this chat, we're going more and more details. Like every every new new question, I'm trying to dig deeper. So I say, okay, we have audio, we have audio eight, audio sixteen, right? We have these uh, three different modules. Which one should I use? Um, and it correctly explains each of these. That this is stereo. This is eight channel. This is six, sixteen channel. Very uh, very impressive. And at that point, I thought, okay, so this is interesting because this is a new module in VCV Rack 2. And VCV Rack 2.0 was released at the end of 21. And that's exactly around the time when ChatGPT cutoff date uh, was. It was 21. So everything that happens after 2021, ChatGPT doesn't know about. It was trained on everything that was available before that date. So I ask, okay, which version are we talking about? And it tells me 1.0. Uh, but I think what happens is that ChatGPT 2.0 is already available on GitHub and all other platforms in beta and, and stuff like that. So, so maybe ChatGPT already had access to, to uh, 2.0, or maybe it was simply you know confabulating and, and got me the right answer. Anyway, th th I, I think it's an interesting quirk. Um, and uh, the last question. Okay, so this this guys, you have to check check this out. It's it's very funny. So I asked for any third party modules that I could use to build this version of Minimog. I was expecting to get maybe some recommendations for better filters or some analog sounding, you know, VCOs and stuff like that. And it gives me a list of modules in each category that I could use, and they are all fine except check this out. They're all literally every single module. They are all Eurorack. So I'm saying, okay, are you sure these modules are available in VCV Rack? Because I have a feeling that you're a bit confused right now. Uh, apologies, apologies, apologies. You're correct. These modules are Eurorack format. So notice that I didn't even suggest that it's Eurorack. I said, are you sure? And it looks back and it's like, oh, oops, sorry. These are Eurorack modules. Um, so I, at this point, I was extremely impressed. Okay, so I was like reading it and, and waiting for the answer until... It kind of goes back to your rack. So this is this is I mean this and it's funny thing, it's it crashed eventually. So it gives me those weird, I mean, it, and this point I feel obviously these are real modules, but uh, you know, two brand two, three, two, three brands and boom, crashes. So I ask, are you crashing? It says no, uh, but uh I you know, I can't crash, but I do make mistakes and stuff like that. But anyway, I think this uh this um uh, is a great demo of you know, how, how we might be using AI in the future. Um, because now it's obviously, you know, you can't rely on that. Maybe it's a good tool for the beginner. But now imagine that in maybe one day we'll have VCV Rack 3.0 with integrated AI, where while you're patching, you'll get some suggestions, or maybe you'll just ask a very simple question. Can you build me quickly a synth voice with, you know, three oscillators and boom, you'll have everything. Um, so I think future might be very exciting. Anyway, thanks guys and see you around.